when your girlfriend says, he's just a friend how do you respond? Went through this once, she made it pretty easy to figure out he was more than a friend especially when they started dating right after she broke up with me. Is this a universal experience or something lol? I have also dated a girl who coincidentally ended up with her guy friend shortly after we broke up. If she's pretty hot there's a good chance she has dudes orbiting her. Friends. Waiting for her to break up. Not necessarily just waiting specifically. But they take the opportunity that arises and probably saw some potential earlier. Unfortunately I did trust my GF. They were not just friends. Same. Why do girls lie about this? Just break up with us if you're interested in someone else. And what blows me is I called myself being the cool boyfriend by letting her chill with dude. And she was coming back to me telling me whole stories. Unprompted. About how he was trying to F her and she turned him down. And I'd be all no PR blame mbab. Long s y o u s t r b l s h boundaries. My stupid ass. Bro was f and s c s out to my girl. Never again. Lmao. Let's hang out together and then observe. If she doesn't want to hang out that is a serious red flag. Interesting. Oh snap. Then I say you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. I asked her her name. She said blah blah blah. She had 9, 10 pants and a very big bra. Prove it. Suck his D in front of me. It's the other way around bro. He sucks her D behind him. No you suck his D. I know he's your friend. But he keeps sitting in my lap and looking into my eyes. I think he's into me. If he's just a friend then don't prioritize him and time with him more than me. Ouch. I trust my girlfriend. This doesn't guarantee she will never cheat on me though. If she cheats, we break up. She loses out being with a guy who trusted her. I lose out being with a cheat. I think I'm coming out ahead. That's how I think about it too. Have sex with him. Establish dominance. As long you say no h first, you say it after. Saying it beforehand makes it homo. Rookie mistake. Taps temple big brain time. The word just is important here. I don't introduce my friends as just friends. Hey babe. This is my just friend Paige. And my other just friend Jim. She's intentionally downplaying it. I don't do that with my friends. Why is she downplaying it? Could be your insecurity. Could be guilt on her part. Hard to say without knowing more about your relationship dynamic. I can't see a situation where a woman would say just friends unless you are asking them lol. I do think the intended context of this post is in confronting your gf about said friend though. Which makes the wording more clear. It's okay. I have friends too. I trust you. Now she has something to think about. She doesn't mind you hanging out with fat Frank and alcoholic Bob. This is why I don't trust anymore. I always keep multiple side bitches. If one fails, move to the other. Cycle continues. No mind fuckings. Only physical fuckings. So were you. Apostrophe. Ask her, will he decline, if you asked him on a date? If the answer is no, he is not just a friend. That and would he stick around and keep being your friend if you made it crystal clear to him that you could never see yourself together with him? Women with lots of these male friends really wouldn't want to know the answer to that one. I don't date or f people that I can't trust. Saves a lot of time and misery. Also, all my friends are women. And I'm not a hypocrite. Hang out as a group then see how she is with him. Are they flirty or legit just friends? I wouldn't trust my ability to read their cues when any smart cheaters would be doing their best to appear platonic to me. Cues. The wording is what gets me. He's just a friend vs this is my friend. Backslash backslash. Insert name here if they try to hide him from you. I would be worried. Interesting observation. I told my woman not to ever tell me that. That would unlock the return of the Mac in me so fast. Upvote for return of the Mac reference. What is the Mac reference? It's a song by Mark Morrison. Depends on the situation and why you are asking. Is it just insecurity on your part? Or are there legit sketchy signs of something? 
What actual basis in reality do you have to be concerned? My philosophy has always been give the person the benefit of the doubt, but also use my common sense and don't ignore anything obvious. I have a girlfriend and we are in a long distance relationship. She's busy with campus organizations and her female friend says she often gets close to other guys. They are very close and this guy sent a whatsapp message to my girlfriend but my girlfriend lied saying that he was just asking about her other friend you you got what i need and you say he's just a friend and you say he's just a friend start looking at making my own friends a shoulder to cry on becomes a to ride on lmao a true classic i have a girlfriend you did now you're just a friend. They all say it's just a friend this is where it gets tricky because sometimes they are just a friend. Sometimes they aren't. Nothing specifically you can do but trust your gut and if it says this dude can be more than just a friend then start to pay more attention. She belongs to the street sop. Fool me once. Heard that one before. Here's how my personal experience of this went. Your friend is super supportive at first, but they slowly disparage me to drive a wedge in the relationship until they're full on encouraging you to leave. Fear trying to become the perfect man for you in your eyes. It's pretty much grooming. Do you want to see if they're really just a friend? Tell him you're thinking about leaving me, but are afraid to be alone. That no matter what you do you just can't find the right guy and wish you could find somebody like him. Then ask him. If he wants to date you, if you left me, I you can convince a lady to say something like this to anyone, and she actually does it. She isn't worth either of your time and you aren't worth hers either. I read your other comments. I went through this exact thing. My advice is to leave and develop some self-respect my friend. Or you can do what I did which was deal with it for years and years. Eventually I just snapped one day when I realized I spent my days worried about it than stress free about my relationship. That's when I started to work out and develop my sense of self and not get walked over. I encourage you to do it earlier. Has she introduced me to him in person? When we are planning outings or events and inviting friends over is he on the list? Does he get treated any differently from her other guy friends? Hopefully by the time she became my girlfriend we would have established a level of trust and honesty that it wouldn't be an issue. Depending upon the context, I would accept her words at face value barring evidence to the contrary. I might wonder why she felt the need to qualify the just part as that could probably go without saying. Perhaps she means that he is not an ex. I don't know. My gf is free to be friends with whomever she wants. If I can't take her at her word. I don't know why I would be her boyfriend. Depending upon how she said it, I would ask her if she wanted to be more than friends and we could explore their relationship dynamic together. That would be up to her. If she feels she can do better than me, I wouldn't want her to settle for me. I'd ask if there was anything I could do to better satisfy her and make the effort if it seemed doable. Bottom line, I don't have the time, energy, or desire for jealousy games. I love and support her and expect the same in return or why bother? Almost all of my friends are women and they are just friends. I trust my partner if she says that I wouldn't be seeing her if she didn't demonstrate that she was trustworthy and yeah some of her guy friends might wish there were more there but she has agency and if she doesn't want something to happen then it won't happen. I'm over 50 and have not been cheated on and my wife definitely has male friends some of whom she's had since her 20s. I'm sure some people won't believe me or will think I'm getting snowed, but that has more to do with your relationships and choices than mine. Same. I'm fairly picky when it comes to my choices in my so, so I trust them and work to ensure they trust me. Being raised by a single mom, I find it quite easy to make friends with women and have no problem developing straightforward friendships with women. I'm always very forthcoming with my so about these friendships, so she doesn't feel threatened in any way and delight when everyone becomes friends as well. On the very rare occasion where a friend makes overtures to escalate, when I'm already in a relationship, maybe 1 out of 100, I shut it down gracefully. If that person doesn't back off, I significantly reduce my time around them. 
No one needs that sort of drama. I only expect what I'm willing to give in a relationship, so if she tells me he's just a friend, I believe her. I've been around a few of my so's exes, and they've been around a few of mine. All with no issues bc what's past is past, and no sense in stirring up noise over history. The main reason my relationships end is a simple discovery that we have differing work slash life goals over time. Nothing wrong with that. We all have dreams and only one life to experience. I haven't yet been cheated on in any of my relationships. Nor have I ever been interested in cheating. This is how I get to sleep with a clear conscience. I only ask my so do the same. So far. So good.